Imagine gliding across a vast arid landscape where the earth itself tells stories. In the deserts of southern Peru, an ancient canvas stretches out etched with colossal drawings that tease the eye and challenge modern understanding. These are the Nazca Lines, monumental geoglyphs that weave through the sands like pages from an extraterrestrial sketchbook. Created over millennia, starting around 500 BCE, these enigmatic symbols have puzzled archaeologists, historians, and adventurers alike. How were these immense figures, visible only from the skies, crafted by a civilization grounded to the earth? And more intriguingly, why? In this essay, we will dive deep into the heart of these desert mysteries, exploring the various facets of the Nazca Lines, from their historical context and cultural significance to the kaleidoscope of theories about their purpose. Prepare to traverse a landscape where history intersects with mystery and fact intertwines with fiction. The Nazca Lines, located in the arid coastal plains of Peru, represent one of the most baffling legacies left by the Nazca culture, thriving from around 100 BCE to 800 CE. This civilization was highly advanced in terms of agriculture, pottery, and textile, but it's their monumental geoglyphs that have captured the world's attention. Scientists and historians have determined that these colossal drawings were created between 500 BCE and 500 CE. The lines are made by removing reddish pebbles to reveal the lighter earth beneath, a simple yet painstaking technique that required precise coordination on a massive scale. Despite their ancient origins, the lines were not extensively studied until the 20th century highlighting a significant gap in the understanding and appreciation of pre-Columbian cultures. This late discovery plays a crucial role in the mystery that shrouds the Nazca Lines today. The Nazca Desert, a high, arid plateau that stretches more than 80 kilometers between the towns of Nazca and Palpa, serves as the canvas for these ancient artworks. The dry, windless, and stable climate of the Nazca Desert has played a key role in preserving these geoglyphs for thousands of years. This area is uniquely suited for such large-scale line drawings, visible only from a considerable height. This fact alone has fed into various theories about the purpose and method of their creation, considering that the Nazca people had no means to view their work from the air. The Nazca lines include over 800 straight lines, 300 geometric figures, and 70 animal and plant designs, also known as biomorphs. Some of the most famous geoglyphs include the spider, the monkey, and the hummingbird. Each of these figures is executed with a single continuous line that sometimes stretches up to several kilometers. The scale and precision of these drawings demand an incredible degree of technical, mathematical, and artistic skill suggesting that the Nazca lines were of great importance to the creators. The techniques likely involved the use of simple tools, possibly wooden stakes and ropes to achieve such accuracy and scale. One prevailing theory about the purpose of the Nazca lines is their alignment with celestial bodies. Some scholars propose that the lines functioned as an astronomical calendar meant to mark events like solstices, equinoxes, and other celestial phenomena crucial for agricultural and ritualistic activities. Studies have shown that certain lines align with the sun's position during the winter solstice and others with different constellations visible in the ancient Nazca sky. This astronomical perspective is supported by the fact that the Nazca culture placed a strong emphasis on astronomy in their daily and ceremonial life. Beyond astronomy, many researchers believe that the lines had significant religious and ceremonial purposes. The figures could have served as part of ritual processions or as sacred paths leading to places of worship. This theory is substantiated by the discovery of pottery and other artifacts along these lines, which are thought to be offerings. The animal and plant designs are considered to be totems, symbolizing groups or clans and their mythologies. This religious significance could suggest that the geoglyphs played a role in invoking divine favor or as part of the Nazca's cosmology.
Despite the lack of credible scientific evidence, one of the more sensational theories about the Nazca lines is that they served as runways or markers for alien spacecraft. This hypothesis, popularized by authors such as Eric von Daniken, posits that the precision and scale of the geoglyphs imply technological capabilities beyond that of an ancient civilization. While this theory has been widely debunked by the scientific community, it continues to intrigue the public and stoke the flames of mystery surrounding the Nazca lines. The allure of such an explanation speaks to the universal human fascination with the unknown and the possibilities of life beyond Earth. Today, the Nazca lines face threats from both natural elements and human activities. Climate change poses a risk to the stability of the desert environment, while irresponsible tourism and infrastructure development have led to the damage of some geoglyphs. Preservation efforts have been bolstered by the Peruvian government and international bodies like UNESCO, which has designated the lines as a World Heritage Site. These efforts include restricting access, improving monitoring technologies, and promoting responsible tourism practices to ensure that these ancient artworks survive for future generations. The Nazca Lines have permeated popular culture, appearing in films, books, and documentaries, often highlighted as a symbol of ancient ingenuity. Modern artists and scholars have drawn inspiration from the Lines, creating works and theories that contribute to the ongoing dialogue about their purpose and meaning. This cultural engagement reflects the enduring allure of the Nazca Lines as a source of mystery and inspiration. It also underscores the importance of preserving such sites, not only for their historical and archeological significance, but also for their ability to inspire and educate. As we conclude this exploration of the Nazca Lines, it is clear that these ancient geoglyphs hold a fascination that transcends time. Whether viewed as astronomical tools, religious symbols, or even alien artifacts, the lines invite us to reflect on the capabilities and beliefs of an ancient culture. Their true purpose may never be fully understood, but this mystery only enhances their allure and the universal appeal of the Nazca lines as a testament to human creativity and determination. We invite you to share your thoughts and theories about the Nazca Lines. What do you think they represent? How do you believe they were created? Your engagement helps keep the mystery alive and contributes to a broader understanding of our shared history. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you've enjoyed this journey into one of the world's greatest archaeological mysteries. Stay tuned for more content exploring other ancient wonders and modern mysteries. Thank you for watching.